Hello, hello, hello everybody, and welcome back to Honkai Star Rail. So, um, this mission here, I had assumed was part of the critter event, but apparently it's not. So, I guess we'll go do that. Because, uh, I just did the critter event the other day. It's getting late. Where to now? Hello, puppy. Is Asta not here? I'll go let her to know. Welcome, new friend. What an honor to see you here. <laughs> Looks like my importance in this chat is now downgraded by one. <laughs> this chat feels like deja vu. Why do I feel like I've seen this chat before? For real. <laughs> okay, okay, let's get back to the topic. How do we deal with the situation? Accountability. Accountability must be held. What accountability? So you still don't know? Heritor Newsflash. Good evening, Madame Herta fans. This is an urgent broadcast. The great Madame Herta, member 83 of the Genius Society, has been targeted in an attack at the space station. Her current whereabouts are unknown, with no group having stepped forward to claim responsibility. Many Heritors are upset at the ineptitude of upper management, having issued strong protest and condemnation. Just look at this. They are walking all over us, positively assaulting Madame Herta at this rate. Yeah, right. And the management of this space station is for real so crappy. The Legion incident aside, how could they allow Madame Herta to be attacked on our own turf? J just what is going on? <sighs> I really hate these imbecilic pests. Uh, uh, I really hate these imbecilic pests. Sit in high places and do nothing? I think you missed a word there, buddy. But when all is said and done, after the Legion crisis, the space station has done a good job in revitalizing and rebuilding. You got a point. Those are two different kettles of fish. Besides, they were never that competent to begin with. Aren't you jumping ahead? Isn't, isn't the main focus Herta's safety? Let's not poke our noses into other people's business. Isn't that Asta's job? Our job is to sit here and judge the quality of their work. As for how to get things done, that's for them to worry about. You sure have some bizarre reasoning, but you're spitting facts here. You're absolutely right, bro. Rich know it, you spoke my mind. Comrades, what is our goal? To rid ourselves of all imbecilic pests. Good, you passed. Oh boy. Herta was attacked? Anyways, let's go to her office to see what's going on. Let's also Our stop over here real counter. quick. Cause um I did get some hertarium. Hertarium? I don't know. But uh gimme that. Gimme some credits. I could always use more credits. I never have enough credits. Hey, Sheila. Whoa. Huh? Mr. Skolem, <gasps> this was a premeditated attack. Conclusion. Their target was the space station. But their strategies are still unknown to us. That's right. Which is precisely why we need her. Ugh. This guy. The last to lay eyes on her as puppet before the attack was her. Hmm. Um, and you are? Uh, <clears throat> this is Dr. Ratio of the Intelligentsia Guild, a delegate from the IPC. She's only just woken up. Dazed. She may need God. a few pointers. No. 
not the fucking Ah, we cross paths again. Do you remember me? <laughs> of course. Why would you? Memory is such a fickle thing after all. Miss Trailblazer, you must have many questions. Please be patient. Aster will explain it all to you. You probably know the gist of things already. A few system hours ago, one of Madame Herta's puppets was attacked by an unknown perpetrator. We don't know the location of the puppet, and we can't pinpoint its signal. There was no surveillance? No. The attack happened on a base outside the station, beyond the surveillance camera's range. <sighs> She's away on a visit. This issue didn't seem to trouble her much. She received an invitation from the IPC before the attack occurred. Ah, the technology department. Charming little place, isn't it? Madame Yabuli does possess some semblance of competence, but her subordinates? Ugh. Oh, they're a riot. Brimming with enthusiasm, yet utterly devoid of intellect. It's as if evolution halted prematurely for them. They want to start some new collaborations with Herta, and have graciously extended an invite for me to play the role of science consultant. It's delightfully amusing. I can't wait to witness firsthand how these geniuses from the so-called Super Smart Club squander the IPC's vast resources. However, this attack was timed a little too well. I can't help but wonder if someone leaked this information, and the attackers seized the opportunity. Herta's aloof response to these juvenile provocations? Hmm. Almost as intriguing. What a delightful little puzzle. I've long heard that you're one of the best researchers in the guild, Dr. Ratio. We are honored to have your assistance. You sound like you don't want to deal with him either, Asta. <laughs> Save your flattery. Time is hardly a luxury we can squander. To debate the merits of mere mortals in the company of an actual genius? Quite the paradox, if you ask me. Uh, excuse me, you. Um, tell me, what were you doing the last time you saw that puppet? Uh, probably running errands for Herta? I don't know. Uh, don't play the fool. Think. I think I was... What was I doing? Some system hours oh, ago. right. I need your help with something else. That curio's gone missing and I can't just forget about it. Go find it for me when you have the time. I'm sure you can manage that, can't you? Let me describe it again in case you forgot. It's an... It's alive, but it doesn't have a body. Send me a signal when you see traces of it. Huh. Oh. Uh, and... Huh? I think she mentioned something important, but I can't remember. If only there were some hints, then maybe... Anyway, keep up the good work. I need to go out for a bit. Go ask Asta if you want someone to help you. My memory is kind of hazy. What did I do after that? I think Herta mentioned Asta. That's right. I think I visited Asta. Hmm. Let me describe it again in case you forgot. It's send me a signal when you see. I think she. If only. That's the anyway, same keep up thing. Good. Hey, what brings you here, Rich? It's been so long. <laughs> I'm not that wonderful. Just okay. It's all taken care of. As long as the money's there, it's all good. Here's the account you asked for. It's legit and secure, allowing you to connect straight to the internet. Mm-hmm. Sure. Can I help you with something? Oh, you flatter me. I'm just a peddler doing a little business on the side. Small scale. Best left under the table. But... If you ever make it big in the guild, don't forget your humble friend, okay? Hmm. Uh, again? How many times has it been? You're really pushing my buttons. 
These two aren't making any sense. This is so weird. Sounds as if he's not keeping things as on the down low as she would like. This is what I recall before I met Herta, but I can't remember some of the details. Let me try to remember the conversation with Asta. Explore the related memory bubble, Asta's troubles. Or not bubble, just memory. I mean, it's a memory a bubble. Curio that's alive, but doesn't have a body. Sorry, but nothing comes to mind. Maybe the researchers at the Departments of Ecology or Insight may have an idea? Hinkle and are around here somewhere. I'd suggest you ask them about it. Asta seems to have mentioned two names. Two researchers from the Departments of Ecology and Insight. I, I, I saw it. I saw that person disappear. They vanished right before my eyes. Just like that. Step. It was so quick. No, no traces left. Not even bones. What, what do we do? It sounds like he's telling the truth. Yeah, yeah. Whatever. Just let the professionals deal with it. Did you finish your work? Hmm. There's Hinkle, but I want to see if I can listen in on anybody else. It's been so long, and there's still no response. There's something fishy going on. How come they haven't recovered anything? I don't believe it. They're hiding something. Those managers are useless. Hmm. I'm gonna tell you something. Make sure you don't tell anyone else. Of course. My lips are sealed. Not a word to anyone. The multiple disappearances? They're all for real. Seriously? Shh. You know why are you being so loud? Do you want to disappear too? Hmm. I say, what a wonderfully intelligent looking young lady. All right, all right, all right. Just cut the pleasantries and tell me how it's going. No need to be modest. At my age, you get a feel for intelligence. Though I confess I did hear someone say you were the shining star of the Department of Insight. I have faith in your abilities. So how about my offer? Why not come with me after this is done? See this material here? <laughs> People are so inconsiderate. How's someone like me supposed to make out the small print? I'm not getting any younger, and my eyesight is failing. Do you think you can? Sure thing. Anyway, keep your eyes peeled. I'll be bringing you something big soon. <sighs> it's happening again. The words in my memory are all jumbled up. Hmm. Those despicable villains are distorting the truth online. Ugh. If I discover who's behind this, they're gonna wish they'd never crossed me. Ask for clues about the lost Curio. A Curio that's alive but doesn't have a body? Isn't that just a jinx? Jinx? Oh, nowadays people call them wubbaboos? Oh, my little guys! A wubaboo? That doesn't sound right. Well, I might be the Department of Ecology head, but I'm not the most knowledgeable person when it comes to curios. Adler would be of more help, but he's been investigating some paranormal phenomenon. I haven't seen him all day. So not only do I have to find a curio, I have to find a person too? I must say, it's a little embarrassing for the space station to be in such disarray while guests are visiting. We've been through a huge crisis and are still recovering. But there are some who are trying to exploit the chaos to agitate the workforce. People are growing more and more distrustful of the management here. 
It's probably turned into a big headache for Asta, too. <sighs> Never mind, I shouldn't be telling you this. It's something that we researchers need to resolve ourselves. Pretend I didn't say anything. Adler. Adler. Right, that. Explore your memories and obtain crucial clues in the form of cognition chasms through conducting key conversations with characters. Collect enough cognition chas chasms to exculpate yourself? Hmm. In memory sorting, the fragmented information you recall as you explore your memories will be promptly recorded and updated, which can help you reconstruct the entire timeline. When I ran into Arlen, Adler was with him. It was at... Oh. Oops. Ad Alright, let's see. Herta assigned me to find a certain lost curio that has very abstract traits. It seems that I may need Asta's help. I found Asta, but she didn't seem to know much about it. Fortunately, Hinkle of the Department of Ecology and someone from the Department of Insight are nearby, which is more or less a clue. Hinkle is troubled by the confidence crisis within the space station. We had a brief chat, and she speculated that what Herta is looking for is a wubaboo, but this isn't certain yet. In the end, Hinkle recommended me to look for Adler. Apparently, he is the person who knows the most about curios in the Department of Ecology. Alright. Adler was with Arlen. They were involved in some sort of incident. What? He went to the scene alone with Peppy? How could you let him? Uh, calm down, Brother Arlen. I, I know you're upset. What are you people up to? We're walking the dog. Sure you are. Yeah. We're having a walk. Can you get your story straight first? <sighs> like I said, we're walking the dog. So I'm the dog? <laughs> they seem to be hiding something. <clears throat> Is there something you need? I'm looking for Adler. Oh, really? What a coincidence. We're looking for him, too. That kid sure is brave. Running straight to the scene on his own. The scene of what? Is he in danger? Uh, uh no. No danger. Of course he's not in danger. <sighs> Brother Arlen, I, I can't keep this up anymore. You couldn't keep it up to begin with, <sighs> dude. Can you leave the talking to me next time? Is there a problem? <sighs> Let's walk and talk. Why are you looking for Adler? A lost curio. I see. He'll be able to help. Mm-hmm. Just need to, you know, find him. Careful. Uh -oh. The fragmentum in this area is very unstable. Oh, cool. That guy didn't even notice me. Uh-oh. Will of preservation. Feeling lucky. Over there. As I thought, he's in trouble. Let's go. Uh-oh. You know nothing of the survive or be destroyed. There is no other choice. But Wait for the tiles. Take off. <laughs> you chose the wrong <laughs> Let's 
begin. Eternal slip. The dead return! Get absolutely right. Nothing major. My turn. Choose me. Leave it to me. You know nothing of the survive or be destroyed. There is no other choice. Y'all right, Adler? Are you okay? <laughs> Are you really the one who knows the most about curios? That's me. What's up? She wants to ask you something about curios. I'll leave you to it. Adler, Peppy's in your hands now. Oh, uh, about that investigation I asked for. Don't worry. I think I figured something out. Catch you later. I figured you'd come to me to uncover the truth. I'm sorry. The situation is very delicate. I can't say anything except that it's a secret mission. Hmm. About... Just as I thought. I vaguely remember that Arlen said more. It's related to the thing I forgot. Using Cognition Chasm might help you restore hazy memories. About the Confidence Crisis? The Cognition's... Cognition chasms currently collected are insufficient to restore hazy memories. Cl please collect more cognition chasms. Huh. So, which curio do you want to know about? One that has no body but is alive. That's all you got? Too abstract. Blame Herta. That's all Herta said. Well, there's beauty in the abstract, I guess. Have you asked the Department of Ecology head? She said it might be a wubbaboo. Huh, she's not wrong. But that doesn't feel entirely right either. I also, or I heard something like that also exists in the. Huh? What did I say? Huh, now that you mention it, I have a wild hypothesis, but it needs verifying. Let's call it a day. Wait for me, I'll be in touch. Adler seems to have gotten the lead, but what was the information I forgot? And from whom? Hmm. <laughs> Due to the presence of certain hazy memories, some content will appear as blanks in conversations as you explore your memories. Using Cognition Chasm has a chance of restoring relevant hazy Let's memories. Let's go over it from the start. I may have overlooked something. Um. Oh, right! Asta mentioned another name. Hmm. Uh, I ran into Arlen on my way to find Adler. He seemed to be looking for Adler too, so I decided to go with him. Adler was saved by us when he was attacked. I stated our purpose and he seemed to have an epiphany from my words. I think I understood something from the words of someone Asta mentioned before. Today's I figured you'd come to me. I'm sorry. Hmm. Just as I thought. My memories of Arlen and Adler are hazy. I need to remember the other person Asta mentioned. Explore the related memory Herta's assignment. Oh. Okay, so I'm just going around between the three of them. Between the three areas. Mm. A curio that's a lot. His incognition chasm might help you restore hazy memories. How's you it going? More missing memories. Did you find the information you're after? I haven't made any progress yet. I see. Is that what Hinkle and think? At least that counts as a lead. See? My researchers are pretty outstanding. Uh, you seem a little anxious. Anxious? Me? <laughs> Is it that obvious? No. After the Legion's invasion, the space station has been under constant scrutiny. Physical damage can be easily repaired, but it takes a long time to heal the wounds in people's hearts. 
Some researchers have been questioning the management and security of the space station ever since the invasion. Things had settled down a bit with the reconstruction efforts, but the researchers' disappearances have rattled them again. Researchers' disappearances? Yes. Four researchers have inexplicably disappeared in a matter of days. No exit logs, no traces. Vanished. People were just starting to regain their footing after the catastrophe. I didn't want panic to spread, so I suppressed the reports and told the security department to investigate in secret. However, as you can see, it's hard to keep secrets in a sardine can like this. Rebuilding trust is harder than establishing it in the first place. I'm concerned someone's pulling strings to sway public opinion. Anyway, the most important thing is to get to the bottom of the disappearances. Do you need my help? Th that's okay, but thank you for the offer. Uh, aren't you helping Madame Hertha with something already? Oh, by the way, I heard about the thing you mentioned, and I'll look into it too. I'll find a way to solve the problem for the space station. So I did consult someone else other than Hinkel. The only thing I remember is that they're from the Department of Insight. Hmm. The other person should be from the Department of Insight. I need to remember who it is. Uh, Arlen was secretly investigating something, so after saving Adler, I tried to get to the bottom of it, but he seemed to be hiding something. I guess this has something to do with the missing researchers that Asta mentioned before. The other person should be from the Department of Insight. I need to remember who it is. Identifying that person is crucial. It could be the key to making sense of everything. Oh, Emily? Hey, what brings you here, Rich? It's been so long. <laughs> I'm not that wonderful. I'm just okay. It's all taken care of. As long as the money's there, it's all good. Here's the oh. account you asked for. It's legit and secure, allowing you to connect straight to the internet. You're the one who was talking to Esther, and you're the one who was talking to the... the... guild dude. Mm -hmm. Oh, sure. Can I, I help get you it? Oh, you flatter me. I'm just a peddler doing a little business on the side. Small scale. Best left under the table. But, if you ever make it big in the guild, don't forget your humble friend, okay? Uh, again? How many times has it been? You're really pushing my buttons. Here too. My memories are just a jumbled mess of words. Did my memory piece together irrelevant information? Restore the muddled memory. Now I remember. The other person is Emily. She was at the base zone. What did Emily say? I say, what a wonderfully intelligent looking young lady. <laughs> I'm not that wonderful. I'm just okay. No need to be modest. At my age, you get a feel for intelligence. Though, I confess, I did hear someone say you were the shining star of the Department of Insight. Mm-hmm. Sure. Can I help you with something? See this material here? <laughs> People are so inconsiderate. How's someone like me supposed to make out the small print? I'm not getting any younger, and my eyesight is failing. Do you think you can... Uh, again? How many times has it been? You're really pushing my buttons. Uh, sorry, if I can interrupt. Oh. Another smart-looking youngster. <laughs> Wonderful. It's about time we had some new recruits. Huh. Asta told you to find me? A curio that doesn't have a body but is alive. 
Isn't the Department of Ecology full of curio experts? That's got nothing to do with the Department of Insight. However, I've heard of such a species. A colleague who came back from a business trip said that the Sienjo Alliance has life forms like that. A Heliobos? Uh, don't get me wrong, I was merely relaying information. I didn't mean I'd help you. <sighs> the atmosphere on the space station has been getting stranger lately. It's risky taking sides. The Sienjo species Emily mentioned seems to be what inspired Adler. The disappearances Asta mentioned are likely related to Arlen's investigations, too. Hmm. Now I should be able to tie everything together. In addition to Hinkle from the Department of Ecology, I also asked Emily from the Department of Insight for clues about the missing curio. She told me that it is said that there are similar life forms in the Xianzhou Alliance. The confidence crisis Hinkle mentioned concerned me a little. Asta and I chatted about the topic, and I unexpectedly learned that there had been a series of researchers' disappearances on the space station recently. Um. Adler was saved by us when he was attacked. I stated our purpose and he seemed to have an epiphany from my words. This should have something to do with the life form bearing similarities to the Xianzhou Alliance mentioned by Emily from the Department of Insight. Arlen was secretly investigating something. Yes, yes, yes. I believe we read that part before. The Xianzhou species Emily mentioned seems to be what inspired Adler. Have you asked the Department of Ecology head? Uh, she said it might be a wobbaboo. Uh, she's not wrong. But that doesn't feel entirely right either. I also heard something like that, or I heard something like that also exists in the Xianzhou Alliance. Huh? What did I say? Using Cognition Chasm may help you restore hazy memories. Huh. She's not wrong. Yeah. Ah, that's right! They're called Heliobi! I guess you could say that Wubaboos and Heliobi are sort of like cousins. Both are types of energy life form. Huh. Now that you mention it, I have a wild hypothesis. But it needs verifying. Let's call it a day. Wait for me. I'll be in touch. Hmm. I figured you'd come to me to uncover th I'm sorry. Just as I thought. Okay, and this one is about the researcher's disappearance. I'm sorry. The situation is- About the researcher's disappearances? Uh, how did you know? I see. Could you also tell that Lady Asta was feeling the pressure? Have you found anything? I'll be honest with you. It's been tough. The surveillance didn't capture anything regarding the researcher's disappearance. There's only one clue. Adler observed that the automatic fire suppression system was momentarily activated around the time the disappearances occurred. That means that every victim's disappearance was accompanied by some inexplicable fire. When we made visits to the scenes, some of the witness testimonies seemed to agree with this. The words they used were... Spontaneous combustion of the human body. Ooh. Spontaneous combustion of the human body. That is most likely the truth. Let me remember my initial conversation with Herta, just in case. I need to go over it from the start. Starting with the conversation I had with Herta. Spontaneous combustion, huh? Let me describe it again in case you forgot. It's send me a signal when you see. And I think she mentioned something. If only there were some hints. Uh, an energy-like form. Let me describe it again in case you forgot. 
It's an energy life form. It's alive, but it doesn't have a body. Send me a signal when you see traces of it. Energy life form? That's got the point. I wouldn't be bothering with it if it didn't have something to do with the Genius Society. Anyway, keep up the good work. I need to go out for a bit. Go ask Asta if you want someone to help you. Huh. Herta assigned me to find a certain lost curio, which is a kind of energy life form related to the Genius Society. It seems that I may need Asta's help. I found Asta, but she didn't seem to know much about it either. Fortunately, Hinkle of the Department of Ecology and Emily of the Department of Insight are nearby, which is more or less a clue. Hinkle is troubled by the confidence crisis within the space station, and Asta must be under considerable pressure. We had a brief chat, and she speculated that what Herta is looking for might be Wubbaboos, but this conclusion may be inaccurate. In the end, Hinkle suggested that I look for Adler. Apparently, he is the person who knows the most about curios in the Department of Ecology. In addition to Hinkle from the Department of Ecology, I also asked Emily from the D Department of Insight for clues about the missing curio. She told me that apparently there are similar life forms in the Jianzhou Alliance. The issue of the confidence crisis Hinkle mentioned concerned me a little. Esta and I chatted about this topic, and I unexpectedly learned that there had been a series of researcher disappearances on the space station recently. I ran into Arlen on my way to find Adler. He seemed to be looking for Adler too, so I decided to go with him. Adler was saved by us when he was attacked. I explained what my intentions were, and he said that the Wababoos suspected by Hinkle of the Department of Ecology and the Heliobus that Emily of the Department of Insight heard about were both energy life forms, which gave him some kind of revelation. Arlen was secretly investigating something. After saving Adler, I tried to get to the bottom of things, but he seemed to be hiding something. I did some poking around, and sure enough, he was investigating the disappeared researchers that Asta mentioned before. With Adler's help, he discovered that every disappearance was accompanied by an instance of spontaneous human combustion. Herta assigned me to investigate energy life forms similar to Wubbaboos and Heliobi. The spontaneous, spontaneous human combustion occurring among the researchers is also a thorny problem, but Adler already seemed to have a bold conjecture. His intuition was very accurate, and it seemed that he was looking forward to something. Back to the present. I commend your stamina for recounting that interminable tale. You must be exhausted. My ears certainly are. So, to sum it up, the last time you laid eyes on Herta was in her office. She sent you on a wild goose chase with some trinket, the curio. After which you knew nothing else until Lady Asta contacted you. If that's the narrative you're sticking to, then indulge me. Who, pray tell, can substantiate this captivating drama? Uh, Herta? Affirmation. We can ask Herta herself. Well, if you lace up those boots and start sprinting now, you might just catch the IPC shuttle in four system hours. But as it stands, not a single soul can corroborate her story. Mr. Ratio, your style of questioning would seem to have a preconceived bias. I concur. Apologies, it's an unfortunate habit of mine. When one is immersed in academic research, skepticism comes far more naturally than belief. It is also the most efficient method, judging from my experience. Seeking answers with a negative hypothesis in mind is still valid research. It can still help us reach the truth. If she is truly innocent, she can clear her name with answers. Based on your story, you met with Herta because she specifically wanted you for an assignment. And the assignment involves a curio that doesn't even have a name. Herta's collection. An endless trove of trinkets and baubles. And yet, she singles out one nameless ordinary curio? Hmm. It's hard for me to imagine she would treasure one curio so much. 
Sure. But you're the one saying the curio in question is ordinary. Say what you want to say. A correct mm. observation, if I may add. Herta did distinctly mention that uh, it had something to do with the guild. Herta's collection. An endless trove of trinkets and baubles. And yet, she singles out one nameless ordinary curio. Yeah, it has something the to do with the genius isn't society. The point. Herta was only addressing it because of its relation to the genius society. I would imagine the curio okay, is the creation yeah, of society, a genius. not the guild. Affirmation. It holds some special meaning to Herta. Yes. That seems logically sound. Then you said you asked Asta for help with the lost curio. However, she decided to hold her tongue until now? So what's the story? Are you full of fanciful fiction? Or is Asta the one hoarding secrets like they're going out of style? Conjecture. Asta chose to stay silent. Then you said <clears throat> you asked Asta for help with the lost curio. However, she decided to hold her tongue until now? I remember now. Back no, now. That's not. So what's the story? Are you full of fanciful Is fiction? This the space where this station would go? has yes. been very distrustful of its higher management ever since the Antimatter Legion's invasion. Another severe incident would further intensify suspicion and cause great internal strife. Oh, so that explains why Lady Astor approved of my participation. After all, the Intelligentsia Guild's representative wouldn't be linked to the space station, but would still share the IPC's position. They wouldn't be partial to anyone, but would still act for the space station's benefit. Two birds with one stone. Researchers' disappearances, you say? Yes, I've heard the responsibility of sorting out that mess has been thrust upon Arlen, head of the security department. Clearly, though, it bears no connection to Herta's puppet being attacked. Cut the act. You're perfectly aware of the point I'm making. Um... Clearly, though, it bears no connection to Herta's puppet being attacked. No. If I recall correctly, Asta said, one of Madame Herta's puppets was attacked by an unknown perpetrator. We don't know the location of the puppet, and we can't pinpoint its signal. Don't know the location. Isn't that the same as missing? She did say that. But then what? You need to provide evidence to show incidents are linked. There should be evidence. Arlen discovered something odd when he was investigating the disappearances. The space station's automatic fire suppression system was momentarily activated around the time the disappearances happened. Arlen mentioned that each victim disappeared due to spontaneous combustion. Huh. But there are no signs of a fire anywhere in the space station. That's what's so odd about it. But this information has an additional layer of importance. This may not be direct evidence, but if the system also recorded the fire suppression system activating when the puppet was attacked, then there's ample evidence to indicate that these two cases are linked. Let's go. If these two incidents were caused by the same person, and the suspicion put on you would decrease, provided that this fire suppression record does exist in the system. Outlogic the logic man. We'll see in the main control room. Let's go. Uh, huh? What was that? What was what? She's here, she's here, she's here. Who? The big shot, huh? OMG. Parator News Flash. This is an urgent broadcast. I repeat, this is an urgent broadcast. News has finally emerged regarding the attack on Madame Herta. The Annihilation Gang has claimed responsibility for the incident and warned of further activity. The Guild has expressed utmost condemnation. <laughs> the gods of the starry skies have abandoned the world. Thank 
Give no thought to the masses. Huh? Only the wounded savior can bathe the world in the firelight of destruction. Yet always there are cowards trying in vain to reject their favor and escape the wounds. Flee then. Flee as far as you can. No matter the distance, Annihilation will find you. Cool design. This is... A declaration of war, and an announcement of what's to come. They have set their sights on you. The Legion's impact remains, and the Annihilation Gang is already paying a visit. It almost seems like this space station is more suited for the path of destruction than erudition. This Duke Inferno Ifrit is a life form that hails from Fatora. A world long since destroyed. His race, the ever-burning fire demons, regard Nanook as their emperor and savior, but the Eon has never cast their gaze upon them. Huh. A group of pitiful lunatics. I like Dr. Primitive's assessment of them. The value Nanook sees in the Annihilation Gang is perhaps far less than one might see in a child who deliberately broke a vase. The Fire Demons have a cruel temper, and instinctively ignite and destroy items. Ifrit is particularly evil and cruel, even among his kin. The Everflame Mansion he heads is even the archenemy of the Japella Brotherhood, despite both groups belonging to the Annihilation Gang. Oh, interesting bit of lore. Japella Brotherhood? I've heard that name somewhere. Oh, yes, I have. I've watched that trailer too many times. On the Stellaron Hunter's Wanted posters, they stand accused of inciting the Japella Rebellion, the uprising that caused the downfall of the Brotherhood. <laughs> the Japella Palace crumbled in the scorching flames, and Ifrit's power has grown by the day ever since. Would you believe it would be merely a coincidence? Something similar is about to happen here. Spontaneous combustion? For him, it's as routine as me finding fault in everything. <clears throat> the disappearance of researchers and the puppet were all part of the plan. And after that, that video will soon circulate. And this station's fate? Flames. Nothing but flames. The destruction of trust. I'm afraid more than trust will be destroyed here. You need to start acting now if you want to survive. You, come with me. Me? You have a superior strategy? Pray tell, do we set the two of them loose, turning whispered fears into full-blown pandemonium? If we did that, we'd be at a disadvantage. I'll stay here and try to contain the news as best I can. Please, investigate the issue quickly. Hm. Alright then. You two have anything more to say? This Duke Inferno Ifrit is a life form that hails from Fatora, a world long- Yeah, you said that already. If we did that, we'd be at a disadvantage. Yeah. Okay. Okay, well, Master Control Zone. It's getting late. Where to now? Hey, Arlen. Not good. This is serious. The security department will do whatever we can to help you. A list of the missing researchers and their details. Sure, but the security department already combed through their backgrounds and personal relationships. We didn't find anything odd. The Annihilation Gang are a group of die-hard thugs. They might be attacking indiscriminately. A list of the missing researchers and their details. Okay. 
Take it. Remember these names. Find a friend who's tuned into the gossip around here and tell them you want to know the relationship between these people. What do you have in mind? I don't know. That depends on your friend. It's been a while. As usual, one pick of Himeko for one piece of go gossip. Quid pro quo. Can I put it on my tab? Only for you. 20% interest. For every five trades, you give me one more pick. So very like you. Now that's settled, go ahead and tell me what you need. Forward the missing researcher list. Help me find the connection between these people. Oh, how interesting. This disappearance has been a hot topic and the news is tightly controlled. Even I don't have a complete list. You're upset at management too? Why would I be? I'm just a small fry. I'll take any chance to slack off wherever I can. Those who love gossiping about the higher-ups just don't have enough things to do in their lives. It's the same people who randomly create their own expectations and then get disappointed when those aren't met. Nothing good will come out of hanging out with them. You sure are enlightened. You flatter me, but I'll still remember what you owe me. Don't worry, I'll get in touch if I have any news. What else do you need me to do? Take me to the one who knows the most about curios within the Department of Ecology, if you would be so kind. <sighs> he... he disappeared too. What happened? I didn't really notice at first. Adler's difficult to get a hold of at the best of times, but it's been a few system hours and I still can't reach him. Even the surveillance cameras can't find any trace. The last time I saw him was in the Master Control Zone. He was with Wen Shirling from the Department of Implement Arts. Lead the way. You said Adler was on the verge of a discovery, yet couldn't confer his knowledge. Intriguing and frustrating, to say the least. If his disappearance is also related to the case here, then maybe he really did stumble upon something important. True. The key words that got Adler thinking were energy, life forms. Duke Inferno is also an energy life form. Coincidence? We need to investigate this. Uh oh. Hey, Don Hung, I need your help. What is it? About Duke Inferno. Do you know the Duke Inferno Ifrit from the Annihilation Gang? It's best not to get involved with him. The station's in trouble! And it has something to do with him. Arlen will fill you in on the details. I want to know more about him. Understood. Wait for my contact. You be careful yourself. If the situation changes, notify us as soon as possible. Alright. Wen Shuling. Oh no, she's crying! That jerk! 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 Fine! Disappear! I don't ever want to see your face again! What did Adler do to you? Adler? He... he disappeared! <laughs> he, he's been acting really weird recently. Always researching stuff like spontaneous combustion, supernatural activities. He doesn't even answer me when I speak to him. He, he was talking to himself. What did he talk about? He kept saying the word phrase. Phrase. We'll get him back. Who said I want him back? But if you want to find him, he was reading this booklet the last time I saw him. I don't know exactly what he's searching for, but I hope it can help you. All right, what you got, Pamela? Yo, you got something? Yep, but it's not what you'd expect. Go on. 
these victims and their interpersonal relationships don't seem to have any overlaps, but they have all posted pretty extreme comments against the management on the dark web and have a large number of supporters. Huh? They're the people who were against the management? I know this result will bring a lot of things to mind, but regrettably, it's the truth. Thanks. Hmm. Your countenance suggests tragedy. So the researchers who disappeared were at the forefront of challenging management. Isn't that a curious puzzle piece? I finished browsing through this booklet while you were replying to messages. It recorded the lives of a few Genius Society members. I'd say it contains some interesting information. It's time to go back and chat with Lady Asta and Mr. Screwlum. I think we only scratched the surface of this, Ifrit. What's up? What happened? The fire demons of Fitora are ferocious and cruel by nature, but Ifrit easily rose to the position of clan leader. And even among the fire demons, his flame belongs to a special category. What do you mean? In many vicious incidents instigated by the Everflame Mansion, I found similar eyewitness reports claiming that miscreants materialized from the inferno. I speculate... Don Hung, you're typing too fast. Uh, I speculate that Ifrit's flame may have inherited some ability other than burning, and that is related to his origin. I have heard of a flame with similar properties that was difficult to capture because it kept shifting between phases. There is not much information about it, but one, only one line that catches the eye. Burns through worlds, leaving numerous scions of flame behind. Interesting choice of phrasing there. Ifrit is perhaps one of its descendants. Shifting between phases. That's all I have. The, the number of related records is limited. I'm not sure if that was helpful to you. Enough. Thanks. That's good. Hmm. Very, very interesting choice of phrase there. That's a very specific phrase. Scion of Flame. monitoring the dark web. I barely managed to stop the video from spreading. The incident hasn't grown any bigger, for now. How are things with you? <sighs> Less than promising. Or to use a different phrase, we're in deep trouble. We're running out of time. Let's retrace our steps and evaluate the situation. From the data we've collected, there are three avenues we can explore. First, delineation, Adler's huh? disappearance. He must have come across some vital information. The next angle is what the victims have in common, as tasteful as that discussion may be. Last is the abilities of Duke Inferno and the secret of spontaneous human combustion. The next first, right, so... Adler's disappearance. He must have come across. I understand. So the answer. No, I don't have first. anything. Adler also. You think that Adler's discovery drew the enemy's attention? Indeed, and I already know what he found. First, Adler's disappearance. He must have come across some vital information. I understand. No. Tenuous connect first. Adler's disappearance. I understand. 
tenuous can first. Sorry, Ratio. I'm going to uh distaste brute discussion. force my way through this probably. A mere glance at their background would indicate they share no commonalities. However, after browsing through their online records, you discover they all wield influence on the space station's dark web. Lady Asta must know what this means. Hmm. The next angle is last is the abilities you probably already know about this a fire demon of fatora the duke of the annihilation gang there is another secret with ifrit last is the abilities of duke in the link between the three is first the next la the link between first damn it click Add through too fast the next angle last is the abilities of Duke Info. During prior unrest instigated by the Everflame Mansion, some testify to seeing miscreants materialize from the Inferno. The flickering tongues of Duke Inferno's fire carrying a certain property, and this property is the secret behind spontaneous human combustion. Look, the answer is right there. This booklet describes a kind of fire that can phase through dimensions, claiming it burns through worlds, leaving numerous scions of flame behind. It's the phase flame, the creation of member number 29, Sir Carl. She was an amazing genius, intelligent, kind, and humble. However, she lived for a mere 29 days on the human calendar. Such a pity. The phase flame shifted into a different phase as soon as it was created. When it returned to this phase, Sir Carl had already passed away. It then continued to shift through phases, making its capture impossible. Hmm. This booklet describes a kind of fire. The kindling of this unique flame must be the missing curio that Hurt has been searching for, and Duke Inferno is evidently spawned from it. Somebody was once able to glimpse the traces of the phase flame and obtained a wisp of its kindling. Herta kept it and lent it to Ron May for her research, but the kindling was lost in the process. If Ifrit is a scion of the phase flame, then the entire incident is now clear as day. The kindling of this unique flame. I fear that this is the truth Adler discovered. Undoubtedly, the Curio Herta asked to find was the Phase Flame. And Adler already discovered the relationship between spontaneous human combustion and the Phase Flame through the concept of energy life forms. I fear that this is the truth Adler discovered. Uh... When Schurling said, Adler kept muttering about a phrase before he disappeared. I believe this word was actually phase. He saw member 29 Sir Call's research topic in this booklet and verified his hypothesis. As a scion of the phase flame, Duke Inferno would naturally share similar capabilities. Full on phase shifting may be a bit too ambitious for him, but teleportation? That's likely more his speed. That is the truth of the spontaneous human combustion. The researchers didn't disappear. They were moved. We don't know where the victims went, but Duke Inferno's plan is now clear. I don't like that I just heard the door open and close. And the sudden and consecutive disappearances provided the best environment for chaos to fester. Once the seed of unrest has sprouted, he will then send out an announcement for I an did hear that, attack. right? It will push the crisis from the dark into the light, catalyzing it into new growth and bloom. The next step would be to ignite the spark. Look at those researchers who disappeared. What would happen if someone realized their similarities? I need say no more. 
It was all a premeditated trap to stir up chaos on the space station. We're running out of time. Huh? Huh? What on earth is this? Oh, uh, Rich Know It All, Rich Know It uploaded the document missing researcher profile. Oh no. What on earth is this? The missing researchers are all opinion leaders on the space station's dark web. Holy moly, you know stuff that even the security department isn't aware of. <clears throat> I just got the file from next door. It sounds far-fetched, but on the off chance that it's true, I smell a conspiracy. They staged the whole missing thing to get rid of dissenters. That's such a brilliant plot. Justice may come late, but it will be served. The management must step down. The management must step down. If that's really the case, doesn't it mean this chat group is in grave danger? Huh? Uh-oh. This... No, it isn't enough. Indeed, it needs one more spark. Uh-oh. What do you mean? If you limit your involvement to this, there's still room for excuses. If it were me, I wouldn't give you the chance. Oh. Could it be? Huh? What is it? Oh God! Stay calm. Asta was merely teleported. Her life was not in danger. Based on first-hand experience, I have ascertained that Ifrit's flame is simply a splinter of the primordial phase flame, lacking any phase shift ability. Logic. Asta is still within the confines of the space station. What do we do now? That flame must still be somewhere inside the station. Find it, and we'll find a way to bring her back. <laughs> A splinter, you say? The arrogance of the gifted is charming in its own way. Try them if you must. It seems that Duke Inferno didn't deign to personally grace the space station. He merely cast infernal fire into our midst to wreak havoc among the researchers. When the fire fizzles out, his malevolent plans will vanish without a trace. I will head to Herta's office and activate the folded space in the Curio storage room. With some changes to its parameters, I can use it to block the fire's teleportation routes and seal it inside the station. Mr. Ratio, please go with Miss Trailblazer and contain the fire. <laughs> Something very funny about the fact that he called him Mr. and not Doctor. Team must include Dr. Ratio? Why? Ugh. Oh, no, wait. Hold on. Um, hmm. Who do I want to put with them? You, I guess. You, you, and you. The infernal fire is also a form of energy life form. The imaging device will pick up its trace. Follow it. I will head to Herta's office and activate yeah. Mr. Okay. Ratio. The infernal fire is all. Okay. The way is awash with flames. It must have just teleported. Be careful. Get ready to dash into the fire. The folded space results from the spatial distortion during the spread of this of the infernal fire. Trying to pass through it may result in a drift in the spatial coordinates with you transported to somewhere unexpected. Uh, the folded space that the space station uses to counter escaped curios. It can effectively cut off space to hinder standard travel. Alright. 
See? It's still in the space station. Like Skrullum said, it cannot escape from here. Do you know what to do with cornered prey? Hunt it to the death. Stay safe now. You too, buddy. The fire is dying. This place is strange. It's still resisting. The fold in the space has shifted. I can deduce its escape route with a mere glance. Fight the bugs. Oh no. Do I need to stealth through here? No. Am I going to? As much as I possibly can. getting weaker. Duke Inferno can't maintain it anymore. I don't think that's supposed to happen. Like this chase is about to end. Sneaking. These stupid bugs don't know I'm here. Ah, crap. I almost walked straight into that one. Chasing the firelight, not knowing that the blessing 
Weapons of destruction already lie at their feet. It has been a wonder that even the descent of the Savior's Legion was unable to cleanse this place. I will acknowledge my brashness. For now, but next time, expect no intermediaries. I will come to personally offer you the demise of your sins with infernal fire. A small fragment of consciousness in there is gone. Duke Inferno has discarded this fire. Oh? No. Hold on. Uh oh. That can't be good. Yeah, if I knew they were gonna force me into combat, no matter how much I avoided ah, it. The banal theatrics of stalling. Let's not. Shall we? Boom. Timely treatment. Let's begin. Yep. You chose the wrong enemy. <laughs> Glance at the ready. Test. Oh. Lance Excuse me. Lance forward. Bruh. It's my you healer. Know, Give me my healer back. Or be destroyed. There is no other choice. It's time. Zero points. I'll see eternal sleep. The dead return. Repay. to me. materializing from the inferno. Seems like Dr. Primitive wasn't wrong. Chain people breaker? What? Let's begin. What was that achievement? Let's settle this. I'm on guard. Lance a blaze. Lance forward. is weakening. It's preparing to flee. You, keep your eye out for Lady Asta's whereabouts. That old animation is very funny. Eternal sleep. The dead returns! Stand down. Zero point. You know nothing of the survive or be destroyed. There is no other choice. Let's settle this. <laughs> I'll see you off. Lance at the ready. Dude, 
This energy recharge is so bad. When will Koyo learn how to build their trial units? Sayas Pekibi. Knowledge, the measure of truth and falsehood. <laughs> Zero points. Eternal sleep. The dead return! You did very well. How's Asta? Rest assured, Asta only had a fright. She is recovering in the clinic. While you were chasing the enemy, the security department also found the missing researchers. Affirmation, they are all safe and sound. How'd you find them? It was all thanks to Adler. They fell into a spatial curio and could not leave until the Department of Ecology's most knowledgeable curio expert solved it from within. Many of them were shaken by their experience when Arlen found them, but they are otherwise fine. So is this the end? Yes, it is over. Why do I feel like you didn't do much? This business is over. And I believe the space station will be able to deal with any internal aftershocks. In Herta's stead, I thank you for your efforts, madam. But there is one mystery that remains unsolved. <laughs> and that is something I must deal with myself. Oh? Have you heard? Hmm. Lead researcher Asto was attacked too. That Duke Inferno. Devious, conniving. Psyops on the masses have always been the most terrifying kind of attack. Indeed, it seems that the Annihilation Gang isn't just about mindless violence, as the rumors suggest. If the lead researcher wasn't rescued at the end, we'd all be in deep, deep trouble. Not necessarily, maybe she's the one who orchestrated it all. Masterminding this elaborate ruse by deliberately harming herself to earn some sympathy points. Really? <laughs> I don't know if my mic picked up my cat just now, but I assume it did. <laughs> uh, that line of thoughts do have some merit. Enough already, this is ridiculous. Is that really worth it? All that hassle just to palliate a few keyboard warriors? True tat! <laughs> Speaking of which, where's that very first rabble rouser? Rich know it. Oh right, he was real righteous sounding when he invited me to the into the group. Let me see. Ugh, the guy left the group without making any noise. And where do you think you're going? <laughs> I've been waiting. Ah. Fallout from this incident remains. Surely you have plenty of pressing matters to attend to. Or is the safety of the space station beneath your concern? Answer. That is exactly why I came. After all, the principal figure in this whole affair is right here. Oh ho ho ho! <laughs> when did you start to doubt me? When one is immersed in academic research, skepticism comes far more naturally than belief. I've had the same bad habit as you since the beginning, Mr. Ratio. I must say, I'm quite honored, Mr. Scrulum. But do explain, why opt for silent wisdom when you already had the pieces of the puzzle? For curiosity's sake, affirmation. I made the same decision as you, to accompany and observe. Oh, and 
When did you become convinced? Objectively speaking, aside from some minor spiritual trauma, no researchers were hurt in this attack, which never aligned with the Annihilation Gang's modus operandi. Logic? A third party saved them. Had I not fortuitously acquired a spark of the Fae's flame and intervened in Duke Inferno's teleportation, those people would already be space waste, floating past the windows here. You are more candid than I calculated. But still behaving within your calculations, no? One last question, Skrullum. Genius though you are, can you deduce why I did this? I cannot be sure and can only hypothesize. Helping the weak hints at the merciful instinct of a medical doctor, but maintaining a cool, detached observation reveals the strictness of a scholar. And pulling the strings from behind the curtain is akin to laying down the gauntlet to a genius. The ruler of planet Skrulum is indeed well versed in the human mind. It's a pity you're as much in the ivory tower as other geniuses. You still got one thing wrong. To stand aside and observe is the best treatment one can give. There is a disease called foolishness that is harder to cure than any ailment. The path of erudition has neither reason nor logic. While geniuses wander among the stars, the ordinary can't even trace their footsteps. Those less gifted have no choice but to walk alone, enduring a lifetime of tumbles and triumphs. But even a life marked by failure is a life worth living. It is only in moments of solitude and despair, when help is absent, that fools grasp how to pick themselves up. I have a fastidious nature. I cannot stand fools, idiots, or imbeciles. Seeing them fills me with dread. Regrettably, this space station is just like the Intelligentsia Guild devoid of geniuses and filled with mediocrity. You wish to uproot the researchers' blind worship of geniuses. I am only laying out my questions. As for the answers, they'll find them themselves. Pursuit tinged with negativity is still pursuit, and it is capable of leading us to the right conclusion. For the masses of the mediocre to reach a level of awareness, this is a necessary rite of passage. You are indeed more like a medical doctor than a scholar. As for the spark I leave behind, I believe Asta will deal with it properly. It is also a lesson I left for her. With that, I take my leave. I look forward to future encounters with such brilliant minds. Let's hope they're as memorable as those we had today. <sighs> A farce full of trivial concerns. Ultimately, they're just mediocre minds. Bro, the music. <sighs> Ugh. Now he's gonna bother me on the express. <laughs> Can you believe that? Also, we have a text from Herta. I've heard about what you did. Nice work. How's Asta doing? She's got back to work. I mean her safety. What's there to worry about when I'm around? That's exactly why I'm worried. True. 
it's, it's a shame that we haven't found the phase flame yet. Forget it. I'll I'll think of it as Ron May owing me a favor. It's worth a lot more. That's it then. Also, I'm thankful to Mr. Ratio. <laughs> Who's that? Eh? Eh? <laughs> he didn't even know he was here. Oh, there's other stuff in here. I don't know how much of it is, like, related to missions. Ah. Okay, well, I'm gonna end this video here. So, I will see you all next time.